Faraday Future, a new car company that promises to beat Tesla at its own game. Last year at CES, they showed us a scale model of a concept car they really had no intention of ever making. And so this year, they promised something a little more, well, real. Introducing the FF91. They're pretty proud of it. They say it can do 0 to 60 quicker than a Bentley, a Ferrari, and of course, a Tesla Model S. It can even park itself. You simply press a button and... Okay, it seems okay. like it's uh, a little bit uh, lazy tonight. I'm being cruel. It can park on its own. I saw that for myself. It's That's slightly wide at the minute. Oh, no, hang on. So this is a purposeful uh, three-point turn, actually. I and, see. And one of the reasons why we pull past is to make sure that all of the sensors of the car, because there's a lot of sensors on this car, can get a full view of the empty spot to really right. verify, yes, there's no one there. And here, let's uh, open the door there. Look at that. Spot on, straight. I'm impressed with that. <laughs> It's all well and good, but it will be some time before you can actually do this yourself. Each and every car park will need to be approved by Faraday Future before the feature will work. And it will rely partly on data gathered for the system by Faraday Future cars. So it's less chicken and egg and more chicken than a $150,000 car that isn't even on the market yet. Speaking of which, Faraday Future has promised the car will be available by 2018. A lot of promises and a lot of potential, but ultimately there's still a lot of questions about the ability for this company to deliver. For example, the factory that they need to build this thing, they showed a video of it and it's really just a lot of dirt at this point. Ah uh, yes, the factory. To build its car, Faraday Future has planned a huge plant in the Nevada desert, due to become at least partly operational in time to make those cars next year. But there are reports the factory is on hold because Faraday Future is running out of money. Hello? It looks ready for some construction, but there's no equipment, there's no materials. And if they want this place to be ready by 2018, it doesn't look like they're making much progress. We, we are, we are resource limited at times and uh, things like this have to take priority uh, for this point in time. Part of the report <laughs> about the finances was that was hit as well, that the construction of the factory had stopped for some point. Sounds like it still has stopped at this point. It will, yes, it would have started And is that, a financial, is that a financial problem? That, that's, that's why it stopped? That's um, just a matter of keeping the cash flow balance between okay. the different projects we're trying to do. Not too encouraging, but the good news is, if they do ever release the car, it will blow your socks off. All right, heads back. Hold on, let's go. Whoa! <laughs> God, that's so quick. Oh. So we have now beaten the fastest production EV in the world, and we're just getting started. Wow. I mean, it's not particularly useful on the school run, is it? 